official talent of your station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. It didn't take long for Illinois to find a replacement for the newly promoted Aaron Henry, and it's someone very familiar to both Henry and head coach Brett Bielema. Former Badger Antonio Finellis will become the new defensive backs coach, and Illini fans might be familiar with him as well. In 2011, he had a pick and pass breakup that led to a Henry interception against the Illini. Finellis arrives from LSU where he was a defensive analyst, but he's very familiar with the staff and the league. I think anytime you have a player who's played this position at a high level in this conference, right, first team all conference player, right, has coordinator experience, right, has the trust of the head coach. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to pass that up, man, on top of having the trust of the coordinator, man. That's the business of today. The Alana did get the chance to have some fun, too. Hope the team brought their swim trunks in. Same with WCIA 3 sports director Brett Behrens, who's living it up in the sun right now. Brett. Catfish got your tongue. You feeling okay? <laughs> it's a little under the weather out there. The nice warm uh, air. Yeah. Feeling good. The voice, though, is not very good. I, you could say the beach got the best of my voice today. You can't come to Florida, though, and not go to the beach. The Illini uh -huh. took full advantage when they were here in Clearwater today, making the trip east across the bay and they enjoyed all the time they had in the sun and sand both mississippi and illinois players were here temps in the upper 70s it was beautiful out here today and a lot of illini fans enjoying it as well some guys stayed on the beach others made their way into the water i saw tommy devito julian pearl and isaiah williams even out on jet skis after practicing this morning getting away was a nice way to spend the afternoon and the last fun team activity planned for the trip it's good weather right here to be out here right now. You know, we used to being in the cold, so being, like I said, being out here in the water feels good. We're having a good time out here, so that's, you can get a little bit of re relaxation, putting in some work today, so it, it feels good to be out here and get some time with the guys. When we first got here, all of them were scared. They was crying about the water was cold, this, that, and the third. But I was telling them, like, you know, it's just like the cold type of the facility. Y'all just going up. Your legs getting numb a little bit, but you'll be straight. But just tell them to just come enjoy the sand. It's my home state, and seeing what I seen growing up, it was just a pretty good experience. <laughs> There was also a pie eating contest and the Illini won that. I'm happy to report no one puked afterwards, but a lot of the pie was consumed in a short amount of time. The water was cold too, by the way, but a lot of people didn't care. When in Rome, you've got to enjoy it all. This is really the last full team activity where they will enjoy that fun. All focus now turns to the field, making final preparations for Mississippi State, the ReliaQuest Bowl, just three days away. Andy, I'm going to go rest my voice, see if we can get back, bounce back tomorrow here, get some tea and honey. Been sipping that all day. Uh, we'll we'll make it. You know, this isn't this isn't the worst assignment in the world, Andy. Yeah, Reporting that's... live. And the beach on Clearwater, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. Brett, thanks. We'll get you some security there as well so more people don't run up on you. Thanks so much. For even more on the Alana in Florida, you can watch the Your Alana Nation Bull Special on demand right now. A full hour of everything you need to know before Monday. Head to our website, YourAlanaNation.com.